What's up, XRP Army? Quick update, special intel regarding XRP ETF. Now, I believe XRP ETF is coming sooner than we think. As Ben Armstrong hinted at months ago, credit to him, I do think it's coming. Brad Garlinghouse hasn't answered directly, but he has hinted at multiple ETFs, basket ETFs, a clear future of multiple cryptocurrencies, altcoins having ETFs of their own, but baskets of it also. Now, we know also Ripple chose ETH to be the other destination also for their stable coin. So this is hinting that probably Ethereum's not a security. I think we will see a world with ETH ETFs, XRP ETFs, and many more. So coming to us from Crypto Airy, a popular name in the XRP army, saying the HashKey exchange under the parent company of HashKey Group with the business component, HashKey DX, who is helping to bring an enterprise trade finance solution to the XRP ledger, was one of the three issuers of 14 Bitcoin and ETH ETFs that launched in Hong Kong today. Yes, so keep that in mind. This same company that has partnered with Ripple, you can check out that dedicated video to take advantage of XRP Ledger with a massive Japanese presence with access to a billion users globally who has also coincidentally launched Bitcoin and Ether ETFs. Guys, the blueprint is there. We're going to see, in my opinion, after this crypto summer that's going sideways, we saw what Jerome Powell put out, basically autopilot. Once this bearishness sideways settles out this summer, I think we're going to be surprised with tons of US capital coming in. As Brad Garlinghouse said, 20x stablecoin growth, the XRP ledger stablecoin that's on ETH also and XRPL, enterprise grade, monthly attestations, fiat backed in the US home, America, America. So let's check out this video because guys, it's going to be a world that's cohesive. It's going to be a world with multiple ETFs, multiple baskets. And this is again, showing us that the collaboration. So there's no need for us to be hostile. ETH gate, ETH gate. Look, life's unfair. It is what it is. And I think that we're going to see multiple ETFs. So this is refreshing. Let's check this out. Links to it is in the description. Hit that subscribe, hit that like if you haven't already. Appreciate it, fam. Uh, there's about 14 ETFs that have hit the market today from three different issuers. Uh, those issuers are China Asset Management Company, Harvest Global Investments, and Hashkey Exchange. You can see the countdown has started. Well, you heard it, guys. Hashkey Exchange. Hash key. So I think this is key. This is, it's just this simple tweet, right? Short update for today, but I think it's very important. And I think a lot of people are underestimating some of those things that we see when Brad talks about the stable coin, when we see these stuff going down. Like it's evidence that XRP is being thought about, XRP is being adopted by companies. And so hash key, again, this is another clue, I think, for the ETF to come. Why not? Why not? Um, hmm, look at these. Uh, let's look at these uh, replies. <laughs> Ripple still won't let XRP breathe. Please no more positive news about XRP. Every time there's something good happens, price tanks. What would Crypto Hulk have to say about this? I think this is substantial. I mean, I think this is substantial. Why not? Because going back to Brad Garlinghouse, Right? If we go back to Brad Garlinghouse, oh my goodness, the other results. And we take a look at this Japan XRPL. And we take a look at Hashkey Group. And we go over to their website. We take a look at what's going on there. It's evidence that, uh, let's go ahead there. There we go, English. It's evidence that these guys have a vast system of management, services, goods and services, products. So I think that this is a deep relationship. I don't I don't really see this one hash key is just like, hey guys, we partnered like a meme coin. You know what I'm saying? I think there's more weight to it. And after reading that post by Ripple, I think that this is not only going to bring access, increase, uh, increase the demand for enterprise, but also give access to special stuff like what we saw with Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs at the right place in time. 
Full Ripple XRP. Why not? Why not? What do you guys think? Is this a nothing burger? I think that this is important and we shouldn't sleep on the importance of this collaboration with Ripple and Hashkey. I think that this is also showing us the clue of what's to come. What do you guys think? I think this is going to be a bearish summer. It's going to be like sidelines. I have some uh, capital on the side, fiat on the side. If XRP goes beneath like 40 cent, I'll scoop up some more. Same with many other altcoins as well. And so that's how I see the future. Multiple baskets, multiple individual ETFs, baskets like S&P 500, but with crypto stuff as well. So it's going to be that world, guys, of like, it's not one or the other. It's not black or white. The truth is somewhere in between. And I think that a post like this can give us some more optimism. And it's tough to be optimistic when the price is going sideways because we don't get the price discovery in the downward or in the upward. But guys, you know, patience will pay off. I know it's become a meme, but I think that uh, XRP has proven itself to be a late bloomer. And also, I think Ripple is moving in the right ways. We have our narrative of compliance first. We see how important that is when we have situations like this, right? Of being compliance first with Binance founder spending four months in prison. So compliance first, cross-border payments, enterprise, fast settlements, the first carbon neutral chain, very robust and long lasting. And with the launch of the stable coin, guys, I think it's going to give us that chef's kiss to pour massive capital that we're underestimating how much money is sitting on the sidelines. Let me know what you guys think about this. Is this a nothing burger? Do you think that the XRP ETF will come? The community is kind of divided 50-50 on whether the stable coin will pour a lot of capital in. But I'd like to know what your thoughts. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. I'll see you guys in the next Angry Crypto Show.